about a quarter throttle. We're gonna bump it up coming downwind or upwind this time. Let's bump her up the throttle a little bit. Full throttle is in. Nice and stable. All right, pilots, today we have the all new 64 millimeter A10 V2. Uh, here at its new paint job with the upgraded motors, and uh, we're gonna get this thing out for a flight. It's really fun to have this one back in stock. I know a lot of customers wasn't asking to get the A10 back in, and now you have it with a new paint job and some new motors, so let's go check it out. All right, pilots, taking off the 64 millimeter V2 A10, no flaps. Gear up. Nice and stable airframe. We'll bring her down for a nice low pass. Now we are dealing with a pretty good wind out here today. But large enough jet, it doesn't matter too much. No gyro currently in the model. Very nice flying model, guys. A-10s all fly good. about a quarter throttle. We're gonna bump it up coming downwind or upwind this time. Let's bump her up the throttle a little bit. Full throttle is in. Nice and stable. Pull her around. Give her a roll. Tank busting burp. Gotta put the sound in, right? Nose down, here we go. Little victory roll at the end. <laughs> it's kind of cool with all the ordnance on it too, as an A-10 should be. Oh yeah, smoking too. Nice to see it make its way back to the lineup. I know a lot of guys really liked this airplane. And I can see why. This is actually my first time flying one. And uh, it is a sweet flyer. I've had the big one. Flies a lot like it too, to be honest. A lot of the same performance. No adversity to having all the uh, drag hanging off the bottom of it. I guess let's slow her down. Hadn't thought of that before our timer goes off. So I'm gonna come by for a gear pass. We may do a touch and go. All right, coming by, slowing down, gear coming out. Notch of flaps coming in. We do have flaps now, right out of the box. For the original version, you had to add them. I'm gonna say we've got a 10 to 15 mile an hour headwind down the runway right now. Woohoo! And it's kicking, as you saw right there. Slow her down a little bit. Power coming back to idle, bringing the power back in. One, timer's going off. I'm going around. <laughs> that was a terrible landing. Looks like a bunny hop. That was a good bunny hopper. Let's try that again this time. That wind kind of just came up Augustine right then. All right, we're going to call this one full stop and hope it's a little better than that. Mains first, there we go, full throttle in reverse. Much better. Also, the A-10 now comes with the reverse thrust capability. As you can see, you can drive it around in reverse. Pretty darn effective on the A-10, too. Cute, world's best backwards driver coming out here. All 
right, pilots. So that was a great flight of the A-10. I did a nice gear check landing on that one as I bounced it down the runway. That was nice. Uh, so, you know, it's always fun to get to show that I'm still human sometimes too, when y'all see that. Uh, but the A-10 handled it just fine. Uh, the version two flies really well. Like I said, I never actually had the first version of this aircraft, but a lot of our customers have been saying for a while now that they wanted to see it come back. So here it is in its new paint job in the camouflage. Uh, I believe this is actually more of a British camo than it is a US color scheme. But anyway, here it is. It looks really good. They also updated the pilot figure inside the model with a newer updated pilot. Uh, you know, just little updates and changes to help with the aircraft all around. Now, I will say one thing that I did right out of the, out of the bat is I did add an ounce of, of nose weight here and I also have an ounce of nose weight here. My CG was a little far aft on the first flight of this aircraft, and it really didn't feel comfortable to me. So the book shows 50 millimeters to 55. I do not recommend going to that 55 millimeters. It starts to get very pitch sensitive there. Uh, 50 is about the furthest aft I recommend, and I'm actually running mine at about 45 millimeters now from the leading edge back. And I recommend you start there also. Now, when you do that, the other thing I have done back here, if you can show them this, Lori, see this line right here? That's normally the neutral elevator position. I'm, I'm a good five millimeters higher than that. So when you set this aircraft up, you need a little about five millimeters of up travel in the elevator to make this aircraft fly neutral. If you leave it on that line, it's going to be uh, extremely nosedivey on your first flight, just to give you that heads up. So I'm five millimeters up from that neutral line. The aircraft does come with all the ordnance out of the box on it. Uh, the one thing I don't have for that flight is I didn't have the center line tank. Uh, I have flown it with it. There's really no adverse effects other than sometimes when it's windy like this and I have a bounce, it likes to depart the aircraft because it's just magnetic. Um, but here we go. We can flip it over real quick and show you some of that ordnance underneath the aircraft. Uh, and while we're down here, we can also talk about the retracts. Now, they are not suspension on this aircraft, and they are not soft tires, because some people want to know that. Uh, they are just plastic cladded, and, uh, but they do work really well. They've been holding up really well for us. So here we go. Let's show you them going up and down. Boom, in and out. Uh, the nose door, one thing I will tell you is it sometimes does blow open in flight. It does not fly off, but you might see it in some of the shots where this is open. Uh, it's just a spring that holds that shut, and sometimes that wind can catch it and open that little guy up right there, but it does not blow off. Uh, other than that, it's a good flying little model, guys, that I'm really happy to see come back. Uh, oh, and it does have thrust reversing now, which is pretty cool. Uh, just plug that into any open channel and that thrust reverser will work. Well, guys, I hope you decide to get one of these. Oh, wait. Battery, battery check. We gotta check them batteries. So, I was flying this on the 3600 milliamp 4S 50C battery from here at Motion RC. I do recommend flying with a larger pack because you need that nose weight anyway, instead of adding more dead weight to the front of it. So 373 a cell or 15%. The other cool thing is if you do add the nose weight, it's just enough that without a battery in it, it will still set on the wheels. Ha ha. So anyway, guys, I hope y'all decide to check one of these out. Uh, it's great to see it come back to the line here at Motion RC. And uh, as always, whether it's land, sea, or air, Motion RC has everything you want. See you in the next video, guys. Bye.